All right, so purchasing a windshield for your motorcycle, especially if you're gonna to be touring, can be a big expense. And of course, because of that, it's a big decision. You wanna get the right one. There are some things that you need to think about before you make your purchase. There's some things you can look at, some measurements you can take, and we're gonna go over all of that with you in today's video. Stick around. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. I always thank you. That's right, you, for checking back in. All right, so we're going to talk about a couple different windshields, mostly about the Clockworks windshield today on this Road Glide. And over here on the Street Glide, we've got an F4 Customs. Anything I talk about today, I will put links in the description below. Of course, that takes you right to the Law Abiding Biker store where we are carrying both of these different windshields depending on your needs. So if you appreciate this video, you want to support us, you can click through those links. We're just continuing our mission to help educate, inspire, and entertain as many bikers as we can worldwide. All right, so like I say, this is a big decision for a lot of riders. Uh, it's an expensive decision. It's something you're going to have for a long time, so you want to make the right purchase. And that's what we're here to help you with today. Now, of course, there's different types of windshields depending on your needs. Uh, we'll talk first about the tall windshields that are going to go up over your head. They're going to give you, you know, the most wind protection, um, but they're not necessarily going to look like this. They're going to be more flat, and that's because they don't want your vision to be distorted as you're going down the road. What we're looking at here mostly in today's video are the type of windshields that you're going to look over. Now, don't be mistaken, just because you're looking over one of these windshields, uh, doesn't mean um, that you're going to get wind right in the face. And the way these are designed, they have what's called, uh, for lack of a better term, kind of a recurve, like on this F4 Customs and this Clockworks right here. You can see how they drape back and then they pop a uh, flare, basically. I think uh, they call it the flare, yeah. Flares back and the wind will pop up and over your head if you get the right height windshield. And if you want to learn more about the F4 Customs windshield, I did a complete review video of it. I'll put a link in the description below and pop a card on the screen for you. All right, so regardless of what type of windshield you want to get, it really does come down a lot of it to personal preference. Let me tell you, we've got you covered no matter what kind of protection you want right in the Law Abiding Biker Store. Again, link in the description below. But of course, over here, you got the Clockworks and then over here, the F4 Customs. And again, these windshields are both going to perform great for you. Again, it will come down to personal preference and your needs. With that said, what do you say we show you how to remove these windshields, install them, and we're gonna show you how to properly measure so you make sure you order the right one. So I know a lot of you know how to take your windshields on and off, but some of you may not. So we're gonna show you both on the street glide and the road glide, we'll get to measuring in a second. Now on the bat wing fairing, you're gonna have three bolts across the top. Uh, they're gonna be a Torx 27 likely. I have aftermarket uh, Zero 3D Horizon LED lighted trim. Of course, that's in our store. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna get hooked up with that. But I'm just gonna take my T27 and I'm just gonna start backing these bolts out. Now, the center one I do last. Uh, because that kind of will uh, keep the windshield in place. So I'm going to go to the, both the outside ones here. All right, and I got my last center one, which makes it easy uh, to grab my trim here so it doesn't fall on me. Now I've got wires on this so it won't come all the way off. Remember, your center one here is going to be much longer than your outside ones, so don't mess that up when you put it back together. All right, and once you do that, you can just get your trim, whatever kind of trim you have out of the way. I just stick my fingers in here a little bit to kind of open that gap up, and that windshield comes right out. So. Before we measure, do that. Make sure your windshield is off. We'll show you in the road glide in a minute. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need, just get grab a yardstick and uh, we just put a level. You can see we just put electrical tape around it. It's gonna be very crucial uh, that we level that out when we're taking our measurement. All right, so once you have this set up, I've got Lurch up at the front of the bike with a tape measure because he's gonna take the final measurement. All I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna put it above my top lip and below my nose, somewhere right in the center. Of course, he's gonna make sure this is level and up front, he's gonna take his tape measure and he's gonna put it uh, somewhere around the bolt. This isn't rocket science, just somewhere around where the center bolt goes in. And he's gonna take his measurement. And what are we at, Lurch? Eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter, and uh, yeah, there you go. So I would need a clockworks, basically eight and a half is what they come in, right? Right. All right, so that measurement technique does hold true because I've ran for thousands of miles, uh, have tested the clockworks eight and a half 
flare and that does work really well for me. And again, because these have a recurve, even though that windshield I'm seeing over it, it does really pop that wind up and over me just right when I'm touring. All right, so let's move over to the road glide. All right, so taking off the road glide is very easy. Phillips screwdriver. Now there is one different measure point on this that we're gonna show you uh, so that you wanna be aware of when you're taking your measurement for size. So I'm just gonna take out, there's four of them all the way across the front here. And don't forget there are little washers on there. Oh, don't wanna lose them like I almost did there. Maybe I should just slip and stab my screwdriver across Lurch's windshield. Or maybe the paint would be better. I just do the paint. He's inside right now. Luckily, I didn't stab Lurch's paint, and I'm finishing up here with the fourth one. Just finishing with my fingers here, and of course, I'm supporting the windshield because we don't want it going uh, falling to the ground. And there we go, that's removed. And we'll show you where to measure from on the road glide. And real quick, just some other things you need to know about on the uh, Batwing fairings here. There's just one model and it's called the Clockworks Flare. Of course, there's different sizes and different tints. Everything's over in our store as far as variants and fitment. So click the link in the description below. When we move over here to the Rogue Glide, we've actually got two different models. This one you're looking at on Lurch's bike is the Sport flare all right and basically it comes up it's a little sportier for lack of a better term but it goes back just a little bit more the other option for the road glide um, it looks similar is the pro touring and the only difference is the pro touring won't come back as far it really just goes upright more they both have the curve up here it's going to pop the wind over your head again different tints depending on what you want but again that's going to come down to personal preference for you all right so same thing on the road glide here We've got the uh, uh, tape here and you can see moving up front there, Lurch is measuring from uh, a different point of course, and that is the bottom of the windshield. All right, so when you get your new windshield, we're putting it back on the road glide here. And I know a lot of you know how to do that. Couple quick things. The road glides are really easy because the holes line up nice. We'll show you the bat wing in a minute. It can be just a little bit more finicky, but he's just putting the stock bolts and washers back in. The one thing about putting windshields on guys, do not over tighten these bolts. They are not going to fall off. You're going to strip them out and then you have a problem. So just, uh, just snug is all you need to get them. And that's what he's doing. He's just going to put the four back in that easy on a road glide. All right. So the street glide is a little more finicky. Um, and I want to talk to you about just a couple more things while I'm putting this back in. Um, first thing, just get your finger in here, create quite a gap. Um, cause it can be difficult to kind of line these and I'm lining the holes back up as I'm doing it. You just kind of got to work it back and forth. Make sure you get that center one lined up and then you can adjust it. Uh, now, uh, one thing, uh, I'm five, eight and I'm running the eight and a half inch flare for the street glide. Now, one thing you have to be aware of, just because that works for me and I'm 5'8 does not mean it will work for you. So don't just take your buddy's height and think the same windshield is gonna work for you. Not true, because it's very dependent on what style of seat you're running, how low you sit in the saddle. I'm running a Harley hammock, so it really sits me up high. And uh, so that works for me. So again, taking that measurement is crucial. Remember, the center bolt is your longest one. Don't mess that up, all right? And uh, you may have to move it around and I got my trim in there. This is the uh, Horizon lighted LED trim from Ciro 3D. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. Got a lot of Ciro 3D stuff on this bike and in our store. I didn't tighten that yet, you'll notice, because I want some play. I'm actually gonna back that out just a little bit so I have, see that play? It's gonna be crucial to try to get these side ones. Don't just crank that down. And really, this is just a matter of manipulation. And the last one's the hardest, but you just have to move this windshield around and you can really feel in there not to get that cross threaded. All right, and I got that one finger started again. I'm not gonna tighten that down yet. And quite honestly, the last one, there's no easy way. Just make sure your windshield isn't down too far. I'm kind of lifting it up. You can see there so I can get in that hole that's there and not above it. All right, I got that one finger started. All right, and again, on these guys, make sure they're not cross threaded. Take your time and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the center one. I know that I can turn these with my fingers so they're not cross-threaded. If they're snug at all, back it out, try again. They really shouldn't be. And again, you'll see right here, I'm turning this one. I'm gonna show you really literally how tight I'm gonna do this. Good enough. You don't wanna strip these out. Okay, and if you're wondering the different look of the light tint on my street glide here versus the darker tint on the road glide, I'm putting my hand behind. I don't know how well that will come through in video, but at least it'll give you an idea of what you're looking at there. 
And I'm telling you this because we get asked all the time what we use to clean our bikes uh, in between wet washes, uh, clean our bikes, our windshields. There's only one you need, guys. We've been selling the heck out of this for so many years. Tried and tested right here by the Law Abiding Biker Crew. That is your Bug Slide Waterless Motorcycle Cleaner. We use it on the windshields. We use it on the paint, seats, chrome, um, our face shields on our helmet, our entire helmet. Use it on that police bike back there that I ride every day on our entire police fleet. The semi you uh, see in the back, you can use it on your headlights. It's amazing stuff, guys. It goes a long ways. We know you're gonna love it. I'll put a link to the description below. Again, we sell the heck out of it. Uh, definitely something you should be carrying around. Keep your bike looking nice. Puts a nice microscopic protective finish on here so it makes everything come off that much easier if you keep a good coat of this, especially on these windshields. If you're looking for a wet wash for those really dirty bikes and times, uh, we do carry that in our store and that is our Bike Bright. Again, links, everything, description below. Now what the f was I gonna talk about? <laughs> Do this angle right, Russ. I gotta use my left hand. I'm gonna just stab my windshield. All right, start on me and then just move once you start on me and kind of All right, you're not done on the channel. I'm popping a couple videos right here on the screen for you. Hopefully something useful uh, or entertaining. Heck, maybe both. Anyways, make sure every chance you get, you get out there and ride bikeaholics. Peace.